countries like Bhutan, uh, we are highly vulnerable to impacts of climate change. And so there is uh, a lot uh, of adaptation and resilience building to be done uh, across the country. And that starts at, uh, at the community level. And uh, that is where I see this uh, local mechanism uh, most useful. And it has been uh, very useful in Bhutan. Bhutan was one of the pioneers and I have seen the benefits in Bhutan. Uh, it's been uh, one, I would say, uh, a tool for uh, empowerment of local governments, empowerment of communities. All across the country, uh, the program has been scaling up, uh, and, uh, but in terms of resources, it's still uh, it's not adequate. Uh, there is a need to scale up. We have scaled up in terms of the geographic coverage, but that's not enough. Now, in each geographic area, there is need for more resources, more funds. The need is one of the hour. We need it today, and if we keep it for tomorrow, it'll be too late. We need to invest. Uh, this funds that you are making uh, available, it's an investment. It's an investment uh, uh, in our planet, in our sustainability, in our future. We need uh, to ensure that uh, the committed uh, funds are available, this hundred billion dollars uh, and more, that, that needs to come. I think uh, the time for excuses is over uh, because we are in it together. We are going to suffer it, suffer together, and uh, the the more vulnerable country and communities suffer the most. So I uh, appeal to the community to uh, have empathy and uh, support uh, the communities in these vulnerable countries. <music>